In today's energy clearing session, we're looking at self-employment and what that means and how to make it work for you. So stay tuned. Hi, it's Robin from Vibration Elevation. And today's card is self-employment and it's from the Butterfly Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. And I had to really think about what this card represents or what this card could be used for in a clearing. And so the obvious thing for me was just fear about being self-employed, fear about fear around um, being responsible for your income and creating your own way of making money or generating income. And this to me is, is something that I've done my whole entire life. I've always been self-employed. I've had a couple gigs here and there where I have worked for other companies and many of them were really good and they were learning experiences. But for the most part, I like to be on my own. I like the challenge of being self-employed. Now, not everybody does. I know a lot of, well, clients and friends who would much prefer a nice, hefty, or a good size, a comfortable paycheck. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I also believe strongly that going forward here in the world, in the economy, both can be a good idea because so many people who get a good paycheck and have a steady income could also have a side, you know, a side gig, something they like to do on the side, whether that's a hobby that they turn into a way to create a little bit more income, but doing something they love, or whether it is actually going a hundred percent in the self-employment route, having a self-employed aspect to your income producing revenue or whatever you want to call it, I sound so business-like, um, can be so, so helpful. And it's also very creative. So what I want to do today is we're going to clear the fears around being self-employed. Like, what if I don't make any money? What if, you know, nobody wants what I have to offer? What if, what if, what if, what if? That's what it's all about, right? The what ifs. And we're going to clear those out because like I said, you can be self-employed and have a job at the same time. If being hundred percent self-employed, this isn't quite in your reality yet, or, you know, maybe you don't want it to be in your reality, but you can add an aspect of it into your reality because quite honestly, it's really fun to be self-employed. So we're going to clear these fears and doubts around being self-employed. And as we do this clearing, you don't have to do anything. Just feel what happens in your body. And you're going to hear the clearing chimes. And let's do the clearing.
Okay, all done. Over the next day or so, just think to yourself, what would it be like or what would you like to do if you don't already have a, a side gig, for lack of a better word, if you're not self-employed? And if you are self-employed, think what what's holding me back? And whatever you guys get, go ahead and post it here because I will use this to create some more um, clearings. All right. So yeah, just let me know what is holding you back, whether it's opening a practice, whether it is, you know, creating an online business, what, whatever it is, I'm just kind of making things up. Just let me know the fears or doubts or roadblocks. All right. Anyhow, thank you so much for listening, for watching, or however it is you found this. And I'll see you in the next one.